Do you want to know how to measure and find the right size replacement filter for your French press? I'm going to show you today on FrenchPressCoffee.com. For sure, for sure, one of the most consumable items with a French press is the filter. You want to replace the filter off and on, at least over the course of the lifetime of your French press, because it's going to get oils, it's going to get buildup, debris, sometimes it's going to get holes, whatever it's going to be. And these are actually really easy to replace, and that's why we're giving you this video today. But the thing is, you've got to know the right size filter, because if you get the wrong filter, you could find that you get excess coffee grounds in your actual uh, coffee when you go to drink it. Uh, uh, or you may just find that it doesn't fit at all. So it's a pretty easy formula to be able to figure out how to measure for the right size filter for your French press. Uh, I'm just going to take my bottom that I have right here and I've taken apart the actual press of my French press. We'll show you how to put that together in just a second. I want to make sure that I've got the right size so I just take my handy measuring tape and I'm going to measure the inner diameter. I'm going to measure the inner diameter and I have a measurement of about three and three quarters, give or take. So the formula is take your measurement for the diameter of your French press and then add a quarter inch. So in this case, I've got again about three and three quarter inches. So I'm going to be looking for a filter that is a four inch filter. So I'm just going to add one quarter inch, like I say, and then I'm going to look for a four inch filter. So what I've got here is a four inch filter. You can see my measurement. And here's the reason that this is important. This filter, as you're going to notice, is brand new. And there's a little bit of this lip right here. And this lip is important because we're going to put this back together. Take your filter, place it, and then place the top part of your filter. And then screw it to the handle of your French press. And the reason that this lip is important is that it's going to keep your coffee grounds from getting into your actual coffee. And over time, I found that this is the part that usually frays and gets kind of the most beaten up on my own fresh French presses. But with a new one, you get this really great seal. You can just kind of see how well that metal sort of folds up on the sides of the French press. And then when you press down, this just makes sure that you've got a really solid seal. You're not going to get coffee grounds or other debris things, stuff like that in your actual coffee when you go to brew. So it's really easy to do and it makes it really easy to replace that filter. And with most French presses, this should be again, something you can do in just a minute or so. And a quick tip, if your filter is starting to get quite bent, and this is going to happen over time, you're going to find that this part of the filter is going to start to bend up a lot, and that's when you start to get a little too much space between the actual glass or the carafe of your French press, and then you start to get grounds and stuff like that. If that's happening, you can just flatten that filter out. And I like to do this with a new one as well, because if you flatten this out a little bit and then press it in, you're going to get a much better seal. So you might want to try that first before you replace your filter because you don't have to replace your filter all the time. But as your filter starts to wear down, again, you get a lot of oil, debris, stuff like that on it, it does make it worth changing it because it can also give you just overall a better cup of coffee. Now, as always, I'd love to hear what your favorite way to brew a great cup of coffee is, so make sure to leave a comment for us in the comment section of this video. Hit the subscribe button, check out our other videos probably floating somewhere all around me here in TV land. And if you're looking for great coffee gadgets, placement parts, and more, check out FrenchPressCoffee.com. As always, everyone, I'm Brian with FrenchPressCoffee.com. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time, and take care. So did you like that video? If so, why don't you give us a like, maybe subscribe to our channel. And if you do, I'll give you a wonderful coffee quote. It's okay, I'll wait. Go on. Ah, there you go. Thank you very much, and here's the coffee quote. Water is the most essential element in life because without it, you can't make coffee.